Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add titles and text to your videos. And I know I've done a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial on titles and text a long time ago and that one's really outdated and I decided to do it in this tutorial. But before I begin with the actual tutorial, I will be showing you guys the plugin that I'm going to be also doing for this tutorial. And uh, if you go to vfxnut.com, this is where I'm going to be using the titles as well. Now, you can either cho choose to do this or you can go with the standard built in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, text, which is okay. But honestly, if you guys go to this website, and guys, trust me, this guy's titles are really, really good. And they're really clean, very simple and unique. So they're really nice for vlogs and just videos in general as well as films. So uh, I would suggest you guys take a look. A link will be down in the description so you guys can download them. And I will show you guys that as well. But before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and choose the winners for the giveaway that I did on my last video. If you guys didn't do that then uh, I told you guys to go on this video and leave a, a hashtag editor's keys to win two keyboard covers for your MacBook Pro, the latest version of the MacBook Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and do a random picker and show you guys this on screen. Now, there is quite a bit of comments. I'm really surprised that you guys have commented. Guys, that means the freaking world to me. Like, you have no idea. This is freaking awesome. Like, you, your guys' comments are the best, okay? And I just can't get enough of it. So your constant feedback is the best, and that really motivates me to make more videos. So guys, please keep it up. That is just awesome. So there's 506 comments. You guys are freaking awesome. Wow. You know, hats off to you guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick the winner. So I'm going to go on to... So let's go ahead and do this in three, two, one. So Samantha... Morel Mojica, I believe. Sorry if I don't. I sorry if I cedronate your your name really bad. I'm I'm, I'm really sorry. But uh, you won the you know the first keyboard cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and take a note on it as well. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do the second one, the last keyboard cover, the last winner. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this button in three, two, one. And it goes to Sean Views, and I will be emailing you guys or contacting you guys in um, right after this video. So if you guys don't respond in a week, I'm going to have to choose a different winner. All right, guys, so this is the video I've put together that you've guys seen in the beginning of the tutorial or this video. And it's just a really nice basic kind of video here. This one is a plugin. So like I said, if you guys want to use something like this, I would suggest you guys to you know, purchase it and download it. It's only 12 bucks, guys. Uh, originally, it's 16 bucks, and I think you get a lot of uh, text and titles and stuff like that. And they even have a whole bunch of other plugins as well. So here's the titles, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the ones that are the most beneficial and the ones that are the most important to use in your everyday videos, such as vlogs. It can be film, like short films. But the one I want in this case is the basic title, and we have the centered. And we also have the custom. Honestly, that's the only three that you should be using on your videos. Now, you could be using these, but they honestly just don't look as good in my opinion. Now, depending on the occasion or the video you have or you're working with, then it will fit the theme of whatever it is. So, like, we obviously wouldn't add this to the, the video here. That just doesn't work. So, like I said, be sure that you're kind of connecting or making the videos or whatever text you're adding, make sure it fits with the video as a whole. You're building that kind of hierarchy or that uh, kind of emphasis, okay? So this one will look very dramatic. Unless it's very fast paced or something action based, then they would work well. This one is not, so this is more of like a, kind of like a traveling video. So in this case, I would probably go with the fade or I would go with the custom. The one I always use is custom, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on top. So we have something like this and there's nothing added to it, no effects or anything. We do that manually and that's because that's the reason why I like this uh, text very specifically. So if I go here, you guys have a whole bunch of different stuff that you can change. Now I'm going to go ahead and go kind of quick with this because I don't want to make the video too long. But the published parameters, which is the first button with the T, is where you can change the whole kind of animation part of it so we can do the opacity we can change this as well the in position so like if we wanted it to start like this and we play it from the beginning 
it's gonna look something like that and it looks kind of funny but honestly I wouldn't really mess with the parameters so this is where we actually want to change okay so right here is the box where you can add your text now on the first one right here where it says normal if you click on that you guys can save the format attributes save appearance attributes and save all format and appearance attributes so that's pretty much saves whatever you've done here so you don't have to redo it on you know different projects and it just speeds up your whole entire workflow and that is really really good when you're trying to do lots of captioning if that were to be the case then this is an ideal option for you now we have the 2d styles and now this is where you guys can change kind of adding some character we obviously wouldn't go with ice because well the background and the water is blue so it would just get lost so we'd never go with the same colors so if we're gonna go with the black now obviously never go with a black text so you can do uh, paper platinum pop a whole bunch of stuff so I'm gonna leave it how it is however I'm gonna go ahead and change the text so I'm gonna do in all caps Bangkok as you can see I just typed it all in caps and that's all I did okay now you can of course press enter and just keep typing and whatnot so that is there for you to add text now the font this is where you can change the font now I know I get this question asked a lot and what font do I use I'm gonna make a separate video for that and tell you all of the fonts that I've been using in all of my videos. So if you guys do want a video like that, be sure to leave a like, that'd be awesome, or just comment down. Either one works for me. Usually I use Helvetica New or Railray. I also use this one as well sometimes. It kind of makes it like a soft edge. So for this case, we're gonna go with this one just because it looks pretty nice. Now the size, this is where you pretty much change the size of the font there. Now the smaller the text is, from watching a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of short films, a lot of them tend to kind of make the size or the text, whatever it is honestly, just small. Make it small but not too small where it gets lost in the video, then that would work as well. Now you also want to make sure that you move the text so it's centered by clicking this little plus kind of circle in the middle of that text and dragging it in the middle and it will snap to the middle of the video. Now what I would suggest kind of like a tip for you guys is when you're making or adding changes to the text you constantly want to be going kind of skimming through the video to see that the text pretty good like goes along with the rest of the video. If not you're pretty much gonna spend so much time on one specific scene it's not gonna look as good on other scenes as well. So just keep that in mind when it comes to you know changing and adding your text. Now the alignment this is where you guys can change the alignment if you have a bunch of text. In this case we don't have to mess around with the alignment right now. Now the vertical alignment we can do the the top, the middle or the bottom. In this case I'm gonna leave it how it is because like I said, we don't have a lot of text to work with, so there's no point in that. So the tracking, this is where you guys can, of course, uh, make each character separate from the video itself. And when you do this, this kind of makes, it gives the video a whole different meaning. When you're doing this, it will kind of spread out the, the actual text, of course, but it will also kind of move it out of, out of its place. So be sure to move it back to the center of the video when you're doing that. And if you make the size smaller, the more interesting the video will look in a way to put it so the baseline this is where you move the kind of where it, the text sits I'm not gonna change that all caps size this is where you guys can change the cap size if you have lowercase and uppercase letters so the 3d text I never ever do the 3d text because this just takes a lot of let's say performance wise and not a lot of users don't have the processing power for that they just want the basics so I'm not gonna really mess with the 3d text unless you guys want me to do a video on that you guys can change the color of the glow as you can see you kind of kind of you can kind of see it behind the white letters and now you can definitely see it so in this case I never add glow I just stick with basic clean uh, flat text as well as colors now you can add a drop shadow if you if the text kind of gets lost in the background depending on what the video is and how much light there is going on you guys can uh, change that as well so you can even change the shadow of it to make it kind of look a little bit interesting and you can even change the opacity make the blur so it's not too harsh and add the distance as well so you have a whole bunch of stuff you guys can change the angle of it as well now before like I said I did show you guys a different text 
from the plugin and if you go to the generators if you guys have purchased it you guys get a whole bunch of generators of different text and animations that go along with it which is pretty nice I like them personally so we have a whole bunch of different ones I'm not gonna go through all of them like I said but the one that I use personally was the square one so this one will look pretty nice as well but the one I use was this one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on top of the video and we have something like this and this looks really clean nice and elegant just like the title says so we have the you know we have everything just the same that we had in the other stuff except this is a generators so you guys can change the position of it by clicking on this button right here this will actually change the whole entire video or the whole box itself and now you guys can change the the position of it you guys can do a whole bunch of scaling and a whole bunch of, you know, you guys can add keyframes to that as well. Right here is where you guys can change the text. So I'm going to go ahead and do in all caps, Bangkok like that. So once you've done that, like I said, be sure to move your text back in the middle of the box like that. And I also made Thailand a little bit bigger. So I go to the size and just increase that. You guys can do it that way or you can go here and go to the text to scale. And this will move it from its middle point right there. And that's really nice and you can even change the text of the individual text that's in the parameters or in the actual generators tab which is really nice and it gives you a whole bunch of controls with it so like i said there's different ones you can even change the the uh, box color to like red or something or even blue but blue will get lost like i said so be sure to use the i guess color wheel to find out what color works best with what but I mean, honestly, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, I know I didn't get in depth with everything, but I just wanted to get to the basics of adding text to either vlogs or short films and what you would kind of use it for. Now, I know I didn't go through every single thing because that would take forever, but you guys just have to experiment with it. Like I said, I've done so many experiments with a whole bunch of videos that I've done in the past. And honestly, what I've come across is the smaller like the text is, in this case I'm going to do main scale, the more interesting the video will turn out and I kind of learned that from personal experience. So it just looks kind of more clean and it looks more nice and that's what we're kind of in this uh, era we're kind of going for more. So I mean I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I am kind of sick. It just sucks. But be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome guys. Your support has been the best. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment down if you guys want an in-depth video with the 3D text or whatever you guys want me to review. So, uh, until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.